Today we're going to be unboxing the all-new Radeon HD 6950. So this is the latest addition to the 6000 series of graphics cards from AMD. Uh, just like the 6870 and the 6850, which were released a little while ago, the 6970 and the 6950 have a very, very similar feature set to those cards, but as you might imagine, because of the higher number, they have more performance. You know, more, more overall muscle. So, let's uh, go ahead and start opening the box because that's what I do on this channel. So I'll get my knife, open this up. So this is a DirectX 11 graphics card, as you might expect. It has full support for AMD iFinity technology with up to four displays. So that is one of the features that it does have in common with its uh, little brother, the 6850. And Here's something that I also wanted to mention about this card. So AMD's numbering scheme has changed. I did mention higher numbers are better, and that is generally true. Uh, however, when they switched from the 5000 series to the 6000 series, the 5870 was actually not meant to be replaced by the 6870. The 5870 um, was replaced by the 6970 now and the 6870 replaced the old 5770 in terms of where they fall in the overall pricing stack. Okay, so this 6950 should be compared as like an evolutionary next step to last generation's 5850. That's what we're comparing it to. So compared to the 5850, we've added much beefier tessellation performance. We've added HDMI 1.4a. We've added iFinity support for up to four monitors instead of only three. And we have also added more performance and more RAM. So this is a two gigabyte graphics card compared to the one gig that was typical on 5850s and 5870s. See, I'm totally gonna get my, uh, my signals crossed on all of these. Uh, numbering schemes. Okay, let me just see if there's anything else that I need to mention. Oh yeah, we've got support for AMD HD 3D technology, which means you can play 3D games, 3D Blu-rays. Uh, we have a driver CD, which you should throw away, as well as an installation guide for how to install your graphics card. We have full support for 7.1 audio with the built-in HDMI port, as well as uh, full support for AMD Crossfire X technology, so that is three-way or two-way on this particular card, and I guess I better get that. Sorry about that, guys. All right, let's have a look at what we've got in terms of accessories. Not a whole lot, actually. This is a fairly bare-bones package, but I've got no problem with that, personally. Uh, oh, okay. So here, we've got a Crossfire bridge, which is expected. And then we have a DVI to VGA adapter, although if you're really still using a VGA monitor or a VGA cable and you're buying a $300 graphics card, you might want to rethink your priorities. And then next we've got a mini display port to display port adapter. This one's pretty useful because not too many people out there are using mini display port monitors or mini display port cables. So as long as you uh, buy a DP monitor, if it comes with a cable, you will be able to connect your graphics card because this particular card does not have even a single standard DisplayPort connector. It relies on mini DisplayPort to get, um, basically to squeeze some extra space onto the back I.O. shield so that you can plug in up to four displays. All right, so here's the card itself, the Radeon 6950. I love Power Colors graphics, actually. They've got like just kind of a badass like robot knight like futuristic glowing eye dude he has like wings and he has like a huge sword that's uh i mean if you actually kind of extend it from uh where it's cut off by the fan it probably ends about here so it's like taller than he is and he looks pretty tall so um yeah most people don't care about the graphics i do whatever. All right, we've got a power color sticker here, and then we've got uh, pretty much the same fan we've seen AMD using for the last little while on their high-end graphics cards. Let's move around to the top. And then on the top of the card, we've got our power plug. So we have dual six-pin PCI Express, and one of the things I noticed about this card is it's one of the first I've ever seen that doesn't come with Molex to PCIe connectors. So make sure you have a power supply with two PCI Express, six pin connectors. And actually, why don't we have a quick look at the side of the box and see what uh, 
12 volt rail amperage they recommend. Uh, 500 watt or greater power supply with two six pin PCIe. Okay, they don't say anything about the 12 volt rail. Okay, so also on the top of the card, we have a couple of other things. We have the crossfire connectors, that is for two-way or three-way crossfire, and then we have a little dip switch here that is for flashing the BIOS on this particular graphics card. Some of the exhaust is actually done right here at the top, and then you can clearly see down there the vapor chamber cooler that, it, that this card comes equipped with, just like the 6970, its big brother. So speaking of its big brother, the actual difference between the 6850, 6950 and the 6970 is that it has fewer functional units, they both have the same amount of RAM, and it's also clocked a little bit lower. It also consumes less power, and it is cheaper, so it's a slightly cut down 6970. Here on the back we find that same uh, red and black pattern that we recognize from the 6870 and the 6850 as well as its big brother. On the bottom we find a standard PCI Express 2.0 slot and lots of interesting stickers with serial numbers and whatnot. On the back, and I love this, I gushed about it in my 6970 unboxing already so I'm not going to do it too much on this one, but I uh, love the uh, the heat spreader on the back. It's awesome. Makes the card look really, really sharp. And I mean, even if you install a water block or like an aftermarket cooler, most of them support keeping the back plate on. So it really makes the whole thing look really nice. So on the back of the card, we're going to find all of our inputs and outputs and no inputs really, mostly outputs. And we will find out what they are. So first of all, we have an air output exhaust that is. So this card is kind of half and half external exhaust and internal exhaust and then we've also got two DVI connectors, one HDMI and two d mini DisplayPort adapt connectors, not adapters. So when you're running four monitors you're going to want to plug in either two DVI and two mini DisplayPort or one DVI, one HDMI and two mini DisplayPort. You can't use all three of these and one DisplayPort. Likewise if you're running three monitors you can't just use these three. You have to use two of these three, and then one of these two for triple monitor support. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Radeon HD 6950. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other great computer videos featuring me.